Welcome to another Forge Hub tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how scripting and other functions within the game can interact with players on specific teams. This should have some cool applications for mini games as well as some other creative uses that I'll leave up to you guys. This first half of the tutorial is going to focus on using teams in conjunction with switches. And this part was brought to you by a fellow by the name of Yamada's Big Butt. No, I'm not making that up. So let's look at these switches. We have what appear to be three switches here. And each one has a simple script which will turn a specific power set to the on state. This one is alpha, that one's bravo, etc. Now we have whales hooked up to these uh, to perform actions upon the power channels being switched on. But the interesting thing here is that we have this switch set to team one defender and this switch set to team two attacker. So if we look at this, I cannot interact with this switch because I'm on red team. However, I can interact with this switch. So I've turned alpha on. I cannot use this switch to turn bravo on if I'm on this team. Now this over here is actually two switches inside of one another, but it's rigged to look as if it's one switch. So what we can do here is create what appears to be one switch that has a different outcome based on which team activates it. So if I toggle it on as a red player, we'll have one action happen where the whale turns red. But if I switch teams to blue team, I will have different actions here. So first of all, on blue team, you can see that I cannot interact with the red switch. I can interact with this second blue switch, and then I can interact with this one as well, but it's going to be the other switch inside here, and it's going to have a different action on the space whale. So again, you can see we have the two separate switches here. It's kind of difficult to select both of them, but uh, one is set to team one, and the other is set to team two. So those are, that's the basis of how you can use teams in relation to scripting. It's incredibly simple. It's something that I just never thought to try uh, before, but I think there are some very cool applications there. Now the next thing I wanna show you guys isn't actually scripting related, but uh, it's conceptually similar. And this idea was brought by Turbtastic. So you can see here we have these two different uh, cubbies here, each with a different color shield in it. So of course, as a blue player, I can move through the blue shield and I cannot move through the red shield. But what's interesting is that these soccer balls have different mechanics that allow them to move through the different shields. So this blue soccer ball you'll see is able to pass through the blue shield. However, this red soccer ball is not. But it is able to pass through the red shield. So you can do some interesting things with this as well. Uh, I have tested a few other objects such as crates to see if this works on them. It does not appear to work on crates so far. Uh, obviously, I haven't been able to go through every type of object in the game and check all of them. I'll leave that up to you guys, but uh, soccer balls do work, and I'm sure a few other types of objects do as well. Again, these shields are simply set to the respective teams related to the soccer balls. So anyway, hopefully you guys find this interesting. I think there's a ton of potential for some really cool stuff to come out of this, so I really look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.